Athena is a very important goddess of many things. She is goddess of wisdom, courage, inspiration, civilization, law and justice, strategic warfare, mathematics, strength, strategy, the arts, crafts, and skill. Zeus was the father of Athena and her mother was Métis, which means wisdom. Zeus was told before Athena was born, that any child born to Métis would be more powerful than its father. Zeus was very worried by this and decided to swallow Métis before she could give birth to the child. Some time later, Zeus began to have terrible headaches. The pain grew so unbearable that Zeus asked Hephaestus to cut his head open to see what was wrong. When Hephaestus opened his head, Athena emerged from Zeus' skull, fully grown and dressed for battle. Just like Artemis and Hestia, Athena was never swayed by love or passion. She was a virgin and she had virgin priestess as maidservants of the goddess. One of these virgins was Medusa. Poseidon desperately desired Medusa. In a moment of raw passion he chased after her. Medusa escaped Poseidon's embrace and ran to Athena's temple to beg for help. Poseidon found the poor girl and raped Medusa on the floor of Athena's temple of worship. When Athena discovered this, she angrily turned her priestess Medusa into a monster for her losing her purity. Years later, when Perseus slayed Medusa and their son the giant Chrysor and the winged horse Pegasus were born from her blood. Consequently, Athena never had any children. Some say that Erithonius was an exception, but, in fact, Athena was only his foster mother. True, Hephaestus did try to violate her, but she fought him off, so he spilled his semen over the earth, after which Gia was impregnated. When Erithonius was born, Athena took him under her wing, just like she would do afterward with another cult hero, Hercules. Athena helped Hercules during labors 6, 11, and 12. To scare off the enormous flock of birds at a lake by the town of Stymphalos during labor number six, Athena gave Hercules noise-making clappers, known as Crotala. During labor number 11, Athena may have helped Hercules to hold up the world when the titan Atlas went to fetch the apples of the Hesperides for him. While Atlas was off getting the apples, Hercules agreed to lift up the world, a task that the titan normally performed. After Hercules brought the apples to his taskmaster Eurystheus to complete this labor, they had to be returned, so Athena took them back. Finally, Athena may have escorted Hercules and Cerberus out of the underworld during labor number 12. Specifically, she helped Hercules in his madness, preventing him from killing more people than he already had. So while Athena has been heralded for her beauty, her efforts with Hercules reveal how much of a warrior she was. As a war goddess associated with wisdom, unlike Ares who was associated with mere violence, Athena was often the main helper of ancient Greece's greatest heroes. After her help to Hercules, most famously, she guided Odysseus during his ten-year-long journey back to Ithaca. But, she also helped many others, such as Perseus, Bellerophon, Jason, Diomedes, Argus, and Cadmus. The name of Athena is closely associated with Athens, the city named in her honor after the people of Attica chose her as their patron following her gift of the olive tree, symbol of peace and plenty. The 5th century BCE Temple of the Parthenon, which continues to this day to dominate the Acropolis of the city, was built in her honor. Her adopted son Erithonius, one of the first kings of Athens, is traditionally credited with inaugurating the Panathenaic festival, held every four years to honor the goddess. The festival included a magnificent procession through the city, the presentation to Athena of a specially woven peplos, and athletic games. Prizes for the games were amphorae painted with a figure of Athena and contained prime olive oil. Athena competed with Poseidon for the patronage of Athens. They agreed that each would give the Athenians one gift and that Cecrops, the king of Athens, would determine which gift was better. Poseidon gave the Athenians the first horse. Athena offered the first domesticated olive tree. Cecrops accepted this gift and declared Athena the patron goddess of Athens. The olive tree brought wood, oil, and food, and became a symbol of Athenian economic prosperity. 
As always, if you like this video and mythology like me, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe our channel, and click on that bell. It really does help to support our channel. Don't miss the other adventures of the Olympians and of course every kind of mythology.